SpaceX Starlink light plan now available in over 30 states. Not bad. Let's get into it. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time today. We're coming to the end of a little bit of Misty Morning and Focus. That zing, that bergamot. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking space, SpaceX, Starlink, Linux, all kinds of great tech. Today, we're gonna be talking about SpaceX Starlink and how they've expanded the number of states that they are offering their cheaper plan, their residential plan too. This is really big news because there's a lot of people out there that just can't afford $120 per month. It's not cheap. I mean, in big air quotes, I should say. It's not cheap. You look at phone bills today and man, my phone bill is close to $200. I only have three people on it. So yeah, I guess it's relatively not cheap. Let's just call it that. But anyways, this is definitely great because once again, a lot of people in the rural communities, people that are, let's say in areas that they can't get copper, right? Let's say fat copper, as I call it, which would be cable and they don't have access to fiber. What are your options? In the past, it was like HughesNet and Viasat and all this junk that was out there just charging us a ton of money for just very little and now they're slowly going out of business and SpaceX has basically taken up the mantle and they're doing a fantastic job at it. I've been doing this for about 48 months now or something and I have about 480, 490 videos I've put together covering SpaceX Starlink. So when you're done watching this video, I'll put a link over here. Go check that out. Once again, there's a whole bunch of helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, and of course, the why behind all of it. And if you enjoy this content, you find it at all, let's say, of interest, throw it a thumbs up. That'd be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. I would appreciate that. And there's a little button down here that says thanks. If you want to say thank you for all of my hard work, you can click on that. Give a dollar or two if you like. If not, it's perfectly fine. The video is still free. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. So I was reading an article over on PC Magazine on a bunch of different places. And I just threw them all together to give you all of the hard data so you don't have to go and research it. I put it together for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right into this article. Then I'll give you my commentary as always do. But more importantly, down below, I want to hear from you. What do you think about all this? Is this something that you would be interested in? Are you in one of these 30 plus states or are you still waiting for it? And if you are, is this something that you're going to grab? once it is available or is the 120 good enough for you and you don't mind the extra 40 bucks let me know down below the article starts out by saying starlink's affordable internet push more options for rural america spacex starlink has been a lifeline for people stuck in internet dead zones bringing high speed connectivity to rural and remote corners where traditional providers don't bother even though they're getting paid a lot of money a lot of subsidies billions of dollars they still don't bring high speed to the rural communities because they're shites anyways that's for a whole nother video but at 120 dollars a month the standard residential plan can feel like a stretch for many enter the residential light plan now expanded to over 30 u.s states offering a budget-friendly alternative that might be perfect for you a cheaper way to stay connected for $80 a month, Residential Light delivers download speeds of 50 to 100 megabits with no data caps. That's very important. Great for streaming, browsing, or light gaming in smaller households. It's not as fast as the standard plans of 150 to 250 megabits down, and peak hour slowdowns might happen due to data deprioritization, but the $40 monthly savings makes it a solid choice. For $80 a month, Residential Light delivers download speeds of 50 to 100 megabits per second with no data caps. No data caps, very important. Great for streaming, browsing, or light gaming in smaller households. It's not as fast as the standard plans, 150 to 250 megabits download speed, and peak hour slowdowns might happen due to data deprioritization. But the $40 savings monthly is something that could make it a solid choice. Originally launched in 15 states, it now covers places like Alaska, most of California, California, Texas, and parts of New England, giving more Americans access to reliable internet without breaking the bank. Expanding access, dropping wait lists. 
Starlink's growth isn't just about pricing. SpaceX has eliminated the waitlist for its residential tier nationwide. No one has a waitlist. Doesn't matter where you are in all states. That's great. Thanks to its beefy constellation of nearly 7,400 active satellites. That said, new subscribers in high demand areas might face a $250 demand surcharge to join reflecting occasional network congestion. That $250 is the case in some areas, in some other areas it's only $100. That is a one-time fee. Basically, if you're in an area that is fully loaded, where there's just no more capacity or there's very limited capacity, instead of them putting you on a wait list, what they're doing is they're charging you an upfront fee to join. And the reason being is to slow down the number of subscribers in that specific area. That's all that it's for. It's not to get rich. A lot of people say that and it's like I have to call them out on it because it's ridiculous. That's not what they're doing. Anyways, the article continues. On the brighter side, SpaceX is throwing in a sweetener. In over two dozen states with extra network capacity, not the limited capacity that we were just talking about, extra network capacity, you can snag the Starlink standard dish for free with a 12 month commitment. So you sign up for 12 months, you get the entire setup for free. Not bad. New gear, lower prices. SpaceX is also making waves with hardware. The Starlink mini dish now $299 down from $599 in some markets. I paid 599, 299 is nice. And a new $40 mini router boosts Wi-Fi coverage in even the largest households or businesses with competitors like Amazon, Project Kuiper looming. They're not looming. Starlink's clearly focused on keeping its edge by making satellite internet more affordable and accessible. You have to always call them out on some of these articles. Take everything with a grain of salt because when you say that... Amazon Project Kuiper is looming and it's going to be a competitor. Just stop. It's just not even close. Project Kuiper, just so you guys know, have 27 satellites on orbit, not 7,400. Yeah. Why does this matter? I'm always talking about the why. I'm glad they're getting into it in this article. This expansion is a big deal for anyone tired of spotty internet or sky high bills. Whether you're working from a remote cabin or just need a better option in the suburbs, SpaceX Starlink's residential light plan and new pricing perks makes it a better than ever option for many customers. And then of course they tell you to head over to SpaceX.com to check out eligibility, where you are, where you're located. The other thing that I want to bring up is if you are going to get SpaceX Starlink today, tomorrow, sometime in the near future, if you go over to my website, jchristina.com forward slash Starlink, once again, jchristina.com forward slash Starlink, you will get a month free and I will get a month free. That's just how it works. Full disclosure. Once again, if you're looking to pick up SpaceX Starlink and you're going to pick it up from SpaceXStarlink.com, if you just go to jcristina.com forward slash Starlink, you're going to get a month free, which is kind of cool. And I will too. That's cool too. So this is good news. Right across the board, it's good news. We're over 30 states now are offering that light plan. And there's a lot of people out there that have been wanting this because they don't need 150, 250, 300 megabit speed. They don't need it. 50 to 100 is more than sufficient for a lot of people. If you're streaming 4K on your TV and you're answering email and you're on your phone and this kind of stuff, you're in your household with you and your wife and maybe one kid, it's not a problem at all. That is more than sufficient. But if you have three, four kids and they're all doing homeschooling and then one is sitting there on Fortnite playing video games and whatnot, well, then all of a sudden, yeah, you'll probably need to get the standard plan, which is $40 more at $120 a month instead of $80 a month. That said, $40 for the mini router is awesome. They're little tiny routers. I did a video on this. Take a look at that playlist that I told you about earlier. 40 bucks, 40 bucks, that is crazy. That's as much as like a cheap router from Amazon from China. 
some real junk, okay? $40, you take these things, you put one, let's say, let's say you have your main router in the middle of your home, right? That's a little bit larger home, maybe 3,000 square feet or so. You take one of these minis and you stick one on the south side, the north side, the east side, the west side, let's just say. Now all of a sudden you have full coverage throughout the whole house, no dead zones, and outside of the house within probably maybe 30, 40 feet, you're still going to get Wi-Fi, which is crazy, right through the wall and it's 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. I mean, it's not cheap when you start getting a ton of them, but you don't really need a lot of them. I mean, if you got two, let's say, it would be more than sufficient on a large house. If you have two stories, for example, you might get two on the lower story and then maybe two or three on the upper story, and you're gonna have, once again, no dead zones at all. And it's only gonna cost you $40 per each one of these mini routers. They're actually APs or access points. And the really cool thing here is, is that Let's say you pick up two of these, all right? And you set them up. That's all you have to do is plug them into the wall. That's it, nothing else, no other wires. If you don't want, you can backhaul them, but that's for another video. I won't get into that. But you just plug them into the wall. And when you go into your app, your SpaceX Starlink's gonna be like, hey, I just found two of these mini routers. Do you want me to set them up as access points, as APs? You're like, yeah, go ahead, done. It reboots, there's nothing else you have to do. Now all of a sudden your house is fully covered. How are you gonna beat that? You're just simply not. And like I said, 7,400 satellites in comparison to Project Kuiper, Jeff Bezos' junk over there with 27 satellites, there's no comparison. SpaceX Starlink is the only player currently in the game. Once again, like I said earlier, Viasat and HughesNet, they're going out of business. They don't even know that they're out of business already. You know, it's like the walking dead, let's say. They're, they're out, they're completely out. Um, $299 also for the gear instead of $599, what I spent on it, nine months, I had to wait with a $99 deposit, nine months waiting, and then I had to pay the $600. You guys just get it for $299, period. And, and what's even better is if you want it for free, you can actually have it for free. And I told you guys this was going to happen. A day would come where the hardware will be free. I'm paying $600, I used to say all the time, you will pay nothing. People are like, Joe, how is that even possible? It's expensive to put these satellites on orbit, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? I said it was gonna happen and the day is here. You can get SpaceX Starlink, the full kit, the full gear for free, as long as you sign up for 12 months. Well, if you get SpaceX Starlink, you need SpaceX Starlink. You're not getting rid of it anytime in the near future. Trust me, I've been using it for about 48 months now. I absolutely love it. I came out of beta way back in the day, there was 112,000 of us at the time when I started. There is now over 5.5 million. I started 112,000. There is 5.5 million now. So you can just get an idea at that just unbelievable growth. It's not like this, it's like this, right? So guys, what do you think? Is this something that you're interested in? Would you like to pick up the SpaceX Starlink Internet the Light version where you're getting 50 to 100 megabits instead of 150 to 250? Is that good enough for you for $40 cheaper? So instead of 120 for 80? Down below, I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the minis for $40? What do you think about what's going on? What do you think about free <laughs> for a 12 month commitment? You know my thoughts, you know what I think. And once again, check out that website, jchristina.com. If you go over there, there's a ton of merch. There's shirts and tees and books and all kinds of other stuff. There's something there you like, please pick it up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, maybe with SpaceX Starlink, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.